What's up, everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Check it out. Look who I got with me. Little Whitley. She's growing up quick. And uh, look how good she is. Just chilling. That's all she does. Just uh, smile and sleep. So anyway, check this out, guys. I had a serious coronavirus scare, if you will. Okay, now imagine this. The biggest deal that I've ever done in real estate ever. It's a $90,000 commission. I've been working on this deal for 10 years. There's 10 owners. Um, this has been an incredible roller coaster. We had a buyer in place. We negotiated all the deals separately. That buyer fell out. That was years ago. I got it back under contract both sides. Um, you know, we had to renegotiate that halfway through because of uh, environmental issues and all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, we got it all worked out. We decided to close on half the property um, go ahead and close on half the property that didn't have the environmental issues and then close on the other half later this year. So today is the closing. And yesterday I get a call from the buyer telling me that the coronavirus has hurt their business over the last couple of weeks because it's a vacation type business, restaurant and stuff. It's uh, hurt their business so much over the last two weeks, they're scared to close. This is the call I get before I close the biggest deal that I've done in my life so far. And so I had to go back to the owners and say that the buyers wanted another extension and it was a cash deal, no contingencies, um, you know, deal. They have the money sitting there ready to close, but they're scared to close because they don't know where this is going um, or how long this is going to affect their business. Um, so we went through uh, back and forth the whole day yesterday. The sellers were really adamant that they are not going to give an extension. We have to close. This morning, the buyer said that they're not going to close. Um, they wanted, uh, they still wanted to get an extension. Kept on going back and forth. Talked to a couple of the owners. They, we even talked about, you know, possibly filing a lawsuit if they didn't close. Um, so <laughs> it was a very um, stressful 24 hours, if you will. Um, not necessarily because of the money, but just because there's 10 owners there that, and they're stressing out. And I'm trying to keep everybody calm. And just a minute ago, I get an email from the title company telling me that the buyer signed and that the money's there. We're going to disperse Monday and uh, just a sigh of relief, to be honest with you. Um, then the buyer called me and said, hey, we're closing. And he actually said it in a way that sounded like he was he was happy at that point, because before then he was kind of gloom and doom. Um, but I think everybody knows at the end of the day, um, or at least everybody has a feeling that the coronavirus scare is going to be temporary. Um, things will go back to normal. Um, I think it's a good thing that we're quarantining and we're, you know, we're, we're separating from large gatherings because that will slow um, new cases down. So I think that's really smart. I'm glad that we're doing that as a country. Um, I'm glad that we stop travel um, from the countries that are most effective and I feel like we're probably in a good spot, a lot better than some of the other countries in terms of getting the situation under control. So um, the stock market's taken a really huge hit. So it's probably a really good time to buy stocks, uh, to be honest with you. But um, only time will tell all these things. Nobody can tell the future. If anybody tells you that they know what's fixing to happen, they're probably just trying to sell you something. So don't listen. Um, always make your decisions based on what's going on right now and uh, what you feel like is the best for you. But I wanted to share this story with you. It's really exciting to close the biggest deal uh, of my career so far, and I'm just uh, happy to be here. Let's just say it like that. You guys let me know if there's anything I could do for you. Click that thumbs up, hit subscribe, shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think. We'll talk to you guys soon.